are making some fried green tomatoes today. So, I have my flour right here. <laughs> I'll mix it up. I have my salt, pepper. I'm going to add a little more pepper. Put a little bit of meat tenderizer and a tiny bit of garlic salt. Just a little bit of each. Except for the salt and the pepper. We put a little extra of that in there. So... Mix that up nice and good. Y'all pray for my kid. She's out there dying. Seriously though, she's uh she's been pretty sick the last two days. She's trying to get it all coughed up now. Get this nice and uh we have our beautiful green tomatoes right here from our own garden. That makes me very excited to say. Not too bad for our first year of um growing something ourselves. Um, we actually have lots of tomatoes. Ooh, that one needs to go. That one's got a dent. Pears. And, um, yeah, some tomatoes. Not too bad. Uh, this guy's gonna have to go probably here soon if we don't find something to do with him pretty quick. We've got our pan here with some good old Crisco in there. Don't make fun of my egg pan. This is, uh, this thing has <laughs> got us through many, many dippy eggs. So, we're gonna take one of these. A little fork here. Look at these knives and forks I found at Walmart. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I don't know where my fork is, though. But I have a fork, a spoon, knife. Go ahead and get lots of um, flour on there. Alright, so get it nice and coated here as much as you possibly can. And then plop her in. Sorry, I keep pausing and then coming back, but I don't think you guys really care to see, uh, you know, the clutter in my kitchen. Because it's there. Don't worry. Uh, I'll be honest. Okay. So, get a nice little coating. Sorry. I need to get a tripod or something. I have to put, I'll have to mix some more flour. But I didn't want to get a big, huge bowl because I didn't know how many I was going to make exactly. This is actually my, I think it's my second time making fried green tomatoes. I think I've actually made them one other time, but it was a really long time ago. But now that I'm going to be growing my own tomatoes, why not, right? I don't want too much on there either, but I want a good little coating. Can I get the other side? Yeah, I already got the other side. Now, I do have a question for you guys who have made these a lot. Should I be putting them under water first to, um, so a little bit more, um, flour sticks to them or no? You guys let me know in the comments. Alright y'all, I will show you what they look like when they're all done and nice and golden crispy brown.